This video will cover the basic operation of the Hazdas model HD7204. To power on, press the yellow button at the top of the instrument. The flash screen will appear and the screen will display the manufacturer, the model, the serial number, and the last calibrated date. After a few seconds, the flash screen will disappear and the home page will be displayed. At the top of the home screen will be the date, the time, and the battery status. Next is the run title or name of the data set. Entry can be made by utilizing the touch screen. In this case, I've entitled this SKC AIHCE. The 03 after the name of the run title indicates that there's three data sets stored in this instrument. I can change this by pressing and calling this whatever I want. Next is the aerosol library. The aerosol library is where users can select a respirable, inhalable, or thoracic size fraction. Because the HD7204 is equipped with a flow compensated pump, the flow will automatically adjust according to your selection. So if I select inhalable, we can now see that it is set to two liters per minute. Stay tuned for more videos in which I'll explain how to use SKC's checkmate and calibrate the flow and also how to enter calibration factors into the HD7204. But for now, we can go back to the home screen. We can set a ceiling, ceiling or cell alarm. We can change the log rate. And we also have the calibrate function. This is where you can zero the instrument Check the calibration using our unique in-field calibration span reference and check the flow of the instrument. Underneath, we have three icons. Um, the left icon is the settings. Here you can select language, um, data recording, data deletion. Um, you can change the date and time format. You can set the date and time. And then also there is the wireless options with live feed and cellular. The middle icon are your data sets. So you can scroll through to the three data sets that we have in here. And this will give you on-screen display of your statistics, your start time, how long you sampled, the title of your aerosol profile, your average, um, your eight-hour time-weighted average, cell, min, max, particle size, and total sample volume. This is also where we can upload data with this upload button, and the events is where we would see any faults. So if we had any sort of a, a pump fault caused by a kink in the tubing or a battery fault or anything else, this little icon here would turn red and we would see that we had some sort of fault. And then last but not least is the play button. When you press the play button, that will bring you to your real-time rolling graph. And this will give you on-screen display. Um, there's a five second and a 10 second, and then you can scroll through your displays here. This video will cover the basic operation of the Hazdas model HD7204. To power on, press the yellow button at the top of the instrument. Upon powering, the flash screen will appear. The splash screen will display the manufacturer, model, serial number, and last calibrated date. The flash screen will disappear after a few seconds and the home page will be displayed. At the top of this home screen, you will see the date, the time, and the battery status. Next is the run title or name of your data set. In this case, I've called it SKC AIHCE. The 04 after the run title indicates the number of data sets already stored in the instrument. Next 
is the aerosol library. The aerosol library is where users can re select respirable, inhalable, or thoracic size fraction. Because the HD7204 is equipped with a flow compensated pump, the flow will automatically adjust according to your selection. I have here selected inhalable and it will show two liters per minute. I can change this to respirable and you'll see it changes to 2.75 liters per minute. The aerosol library is also where users can create unique cross calibration factors. Stay tuned for more videos in which I explain how to verify the flow using SKC's Checkmate and also a more detailed discussion on calibration factors. But for now, let's go back to the home screen. The home screen, I can select the ceiling alarm or cell alarm and by pressing this, I simply turn it on or off. I can also select the log rate here and it will tell you how long the instrument will run for based on your selection. And then we have the calibrate button. By pressing the calibrate button, we can zero the instrument. We can check the particulate calibration using our in-field calibration span reference accessory, and we can check the flow. Down here, we have three icons. We have the setting icon, in the setting icon, you can select a language, you can delete data, you can change the day and time format, you can set the day and time, and then also we have the live feed and wireless options. The middle button will show your numerous data sets. So in this case, I said we had four data sets under that title, those are your four. We can scroll through and look at the on-screen uh, statistics. Now I'll have your start time, your duration, um, aerosol profile, in this case I, I mean the aerosol silica, um, the average, we have the time weighted 80 hour average, we have STEL, min, max, and total sample volume. We also have um, the upload feature here, if you wanted to upload the data to use our has has calm software and here we have events and the events would be any sort of fault whether it be a battery fault or a pump fault by a key tubing or what have you and this little box would turn red and then lastly we have the play we select the play and we have our real-time graph um, and here we can actually select a five second or one second sample and on the last screen, we will have um, your on-screen uh, statistics. So stay tuned for more videos on the HD7204.